Hey guys, Ray from Love You RV back with you again. And in part two of my project, my skirting project, I'm going to skirt in the fifth wheel overhang to make a little shed in there. Uh, now, if you missed the part one, I'll leave a link in the description. In part one, I, I extensively went through how to install the skirting, the snaps they use and everything. This is the easy snap skirting. So let's get to it. So here's my plan for the front room. I've kind of uh, framed in a, a rough kind of little room in here. And mainly this is going to be to protect against some of the winds we're going to get here. Give the backing material, like otherwise it's just a parachute. So I've uh, roughed it in. And what I'm going to do is probably attach right into here is where I'm going to put some of the studs. Because I know behind that's going to be a good beam right along and down there and then what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to put the studs underneath I don't really want to put them into my cap front cap here so I'm going to go in just behind it there put it in along the bottom where no one can see the studs rather than on the, the side there It'll drape over. The pool noodles kind of just protect the material edge from a sharp edge here. I'm um, using the hitch as kind of an anchor. You can see the shim in there. That uh, just gives it a lot of support. And then also I'll have a heavy box there and a, another heavy freezer there to kind of give it support that way. It's going to have pretty good uh, support against the wind. And then over here is going to be where my door is. The zipper door will go right here. So I'll unzip it and go in my little room. So get to work uh, attaching those studs on the side. As you can tell, I'm no carpenter. <laughs> it's all just cheap uh, two by two lumber that I screwed together. So when I disassemble everything, I can just unscrew everything. It'll be easy to, to store the wood if I want to keep it. But it really didn't cost a whole lot. So, got the studs in place, and I was right, there's an aluminum beam behind there, so that really bit in well. They're in there solid, which is good, because, you know, they can get to a lot of pull on them from the wind. I'll go underneath here, show you where I did the other studs. Yeah, so I decided to go right onto this trim piece now. It's round, you're not supposed to put the studs on a round surface, but I'm also using the screws, so I found this plastic was extremely hard and really bit in well to that, so I think we're going to be okay there. Okay, so I got her all wrapped. It's kind of like wrapping a strange uh, shaped present. Took a little bit of finagling, but I think I got it pretty straight. Give you a look in my little room here. There's the door on this side. So we got snaps running, like I said, up there and then underneath. Let's go in my room. So in here I have my freezer, storage bin, another little fridge freezer. So it's nice, nice in here. Lots of room to store stuff. Up along here I also took some Gorilla tape just because it was that way it's pushed up against there and it gives nice a slant because the, the front ledge there collects water so rather than having it fall in here and trying to just kind of weatherproof it a bit I'll have to see how it goes see if I can improve upon that so put the zipper door down so you can see how everything looks I'll give you a couple of snaps up here just to hold the and a, and a strap to hold the zipper door up Along the bottom, I took some of that Velcro and put it on the wood there, just so it clamps against there. There we go, pretty well complete. Let's 
give you a little walk around. So, weather's pretty nice right now, but we're getting a big storm coming in, so it's going to be a good test tonight. Winds and rain are supposed to pick up as the evening progresses, and overnight they're saying we may get up to, uh, you know, like 70 kilometer an hour winds around 40 miles an hour so so it should be a good test southeast wind be blowing into the other side of the camper but it give me a good indication of how this uh, tarping is going to handle a good windstorm so stay tuned Come back in just a jiffy and we'll see how it handled the wind. Well, it was a pretty stormy night. It's a pretty high winds and lots of lots of rain. And the skirting has held up well. Quite happy with it. Let's give you a look around. I went in the room and there's a little bit of water came in, but not very much considering how, how much the wind was blowing and how much rain we were getting. Our belt pelted pretty good. On the front here, I decided to take my table and with a water jug, just lean it against there, kind of help hold the skirting. Same thing on the side, I put a chair, just give it a little bit of extra uh, prop up. But uh, none of the snaps came off. So I'm happy with that. At the back, I had a peek inside there and I didn't get uh, much water at all going in. What I did here, you see the, the black there, because we're slanted back, all the water comes off the slide roof and comes down the wall. And I, it was kind of going in between the skirting and the wall. So I added some Gorilla Tape, just taped it along there and kind of just made a drip a drip edge there so that it doesn't go in between just drips off and that worked really well so anyway that's basically it for the two install videos i'll use the skirting and come back in a couple months after we've got some good cold and uh, come back with a full review on it for you. Till next time, Ray from loveyourv.com. Cheers, folks.